Hi and welcome to the Mega Dialer. In this episode we're going to look at importing contacts. To do this we're going to log in to the dialer with our username and our password. And once logged in we can see on the left hand side we have the option to import the contacts. Before importing we're going to prepare our data. So for this I normally recommend to go to campaigns and then go to the form view. Here we can see the different fields that we have in our dialer data or in the contact view. We can see here we have the title, the first name, the surname, the email address and the mobile number. The difference between these two different options is the left one is what the agent will see on their screen and the right one is called the internal name. This means that it's how the dialer references this particular field. Anything that matches up with these grey fields in the data will be imported into these particular fields. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to our Excel and we're going to create an import in our Excel spreadsheet. So for this, what I'm going to do is just copy the grey field. So I'm going to copy title. I'm going to copy first name. I'm going to copy the surname. Email address. finally the mobile number. I'm going to highlight these fields, just make the fields a bit bigger. Okay, don't worry if you don't have any data in certain fields. Uh, if a field is blank, it just simply won't import any data into that, into that field in the dialer. So here I'm going to leave the title blank and I'm just going to fill out the data email address info at megacall.es and then the mobile number we'll just simply put in 2044207416 okay when we've typed that number in we can see here that it's automatically jumped to some strange characters to solve this we're going to highlight the column we're going to right click we're going to click on format cells and we're going to set it to number with zero decimal places we can now see that it's put the number in international format without the preceding zero zeros. What we'll do now is we're going to save the file. So we'll click on save as. We'll go to our desktop and we're going to save it as data import one. What we need to make sure is that the type is set as comma delimited CSV. You can see here that I've created some imports earlier on. So we'll just simply overwrite one of those fields. Yes, we want to accept that prompt. So now I'm going to import the data into the dialer. For this, I'm going to go to import. And then I'm going to select the actual task that I want to import them to. It's important to make sure you're in the correct campaign. And it's also important to make sure you import them to the correct task. As you can see here, I have two tasks. I'm going to import them into the call first call, which is my first call task. Once I've selected it, you can see it's in a darker gray. And we can also see up here that it's selected or it's highlighted. So we know that we're importing into this task. To import, you can either copy and paste from the clipboard. Or if you have a lot of data, you can import from a file. I'm going to show you how to import from a file. So we're going to click on select file. And we're going to select our data import one, which is a file that we've just created. And we'll click on open. We can see now that we have a source. So it's telling us the name of the file that we're importing. We can see it's exactly the same. I would normally recommend importing data with a date. Uh, it allows you to keep your data organized. And it means that if you import incorrectly, you can obviously delete the data from that particular date. If you have a lot of files that are imported at the same time, um, or on the same day and they have the same name, it makes it a lot more difficult to try and de delete that information if you import it incorrectly. If we scroll down a bit, we can see here that new fields, they will be inserted hidden. So it means that if you have a field in your data that's not in the dialer, it will import that field, but it will hide it automatically. If we scroll down further, we can see the country code. So we can see the default number 
is the UK, which is plus 44. And if we scroll down further, we can see here that the phone number field, so what the dialer will actually recognize uh, or we've used to call a contact, it's automatically noted it down as the mobile number. This is simply because it has mobile in it. Um, there are times that if it has phone or office number or anything with number in, the dialer is quite intelligent and it will automatically pick that up. If not, you can simply click on the drop down menu and select the correct, uh, the correct column. So we're going to leave it as mobile number. And if we scroll down, we can see here now that we have a preview of the data that we're going to import. So we can see here the dollar phone, which is the phone number field. We can see the title is blank as we didn't put that information in. We can see I've got my first name, my surname, my email address, and also the mobile number. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the play button to import that data. We can see now that we have success at the bottom. So if I close that screen and go to the tasks menu, we can now see here that we have one contact that is actually imported into the dialer. If I was to click on all, it will show me now that data that I've just imported. We're going to look at another example now. That if I was to change, for example, first name with a space, and instead of putting surname, I was going to put last name. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and save it as, we're going to call it data import 2 this time. So now that I've imported that data, what I will do is minimize this screen. I'm going to go to the tasks again, sorry, to import. And I'm going to select data import 2, which is my second data import field. If I scroll down a bit, we can now see that it's filled out all the information correctly. We can see how I have the source, which is data import 2 now. We can see that it's picked up the phone number, which is just over here. But now we can see that we've got a yellow box and we have two columns in yellow. The yellow columns just simply mean that the dialer hasn't recognized those fields and so it's going to create them and insert them as hidden. Okay, being as we know that these fields exist, we can correct that by just simply clicking on the natural name and we can select from the drop down the field that's existing in the dialer. So I know that this first name should actually be first name altogether and the last name it should be surname. So when I click on those fields, you can see they've turned black and that yellow box has disappeared. This means that the data that I'm importing and the headers that I'm importing in the data, they match up with those on the dialer. So to import, I can just simply click on the Run Import button. I'm going to click now on Run Import. We can now see here at the bottom that it's come up with a success. So if now I click on the Tasks option on the left hand side, we can see at the moment we have one, but if I click on the refresh button, we've now got two. You'll notice that the two that I have in there, I have one marked as open and I have one marked as failed. Okay, if I want to see all of the data, so these two records, I can click on the all option. If I wanted to see them in their individual groups, I just click on the individual group. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on all. And we can see now that I have one of my contacts that is in open none and I can see one of my contacts is in failed and duplicate okay the open none means that it's imported and it's a contact that will actually be called okay the failed duplicate is in essence that it's a duplicate of a record that I've really tried to import if I wanted to I can click on these three dots and it will tell me the source of those two records and it will also tell me the time that I imported those two records. Okay, so I can see here that this record was imported first and then this record was imported afterwards, but because it had the same number, it marked it as duplicate. If I wanted to import any other contacts, I can do the same process. I can go to import and import the contacts from a CSV file. Also, I can import the contacts to different call tasks. So I could import them to this one or to this one. 
Another option in the dialer is to import what they call do not call. So you can import a list of numbers that you don't want to be able to call per campaign, or you can do that per tenant. The process is the same. All you do is import your data in a CSV format. Okay. If you don't want to fill out the first name and the surname and all that, you can just simply have a phone number column and you can select that information from here. I think this basically covers now the, the option here with regards to importing contacts and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.